Good morning, uh, Pleasant Grove and friends and loved ones that are tuned in on our broadcast. Uh, we decided to broadcast our Bible class. We broadcast it last week and we broadcast it this week. And we, I just want to say uh, thank you uh, to all my friends and loved ones in the church family. Uh, I had a birthday on Monday and I just want to thank you for your cards, your gift, and and just your call um, to encourage my heart. And I did get a great encouragement on Monday, and I really, truly thank you. And also I thank the Lord, because it's only by His Amen. grace and Amen. mercy that I saw another birthday. And this was my 60th birthday. And I thank God that I reached 60. Um, that is a milestone, that is a blessing within itself. And I just want to just praise God for that because I know it's only Him who able me to do that. So thank you and thank you. Uh, let us get into our word. Our word is found in 2 Corinthians 5th chapter 17th verse. Um, we'll be studying from 2 Corinthians 5th chapter starting at the 17th verse. Let's have a little prayer over our word. I have a Father, Lord, I'm coming, first of all, to say forgive me. Forgive us for all the sins, Lord, that we have committed by commission or omission. And, Lord, I'm coming to just praise your name for waking me up this morning, starting us on our many different journeys, Lord. And, Lord, I just want to say thank you, Lord, that you thank protect you. me all last night, Lord, from all harm and danger, Lord. We just want to thank you. Thank Lord, you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord, for having a heart and having a mind to come out to House of Prayer once again, Lord, to learn more about your word. Lord, I ask you to guide me, Lord, to give me what to say to your people. And, Lord, that your people might be ready to receive what you have from them. Lord, that they might have TV, radio, and all the things shut off and ready to receive the word of God. Yes, we Lord. pray all these prayers in Jesus' name. We in pray. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So we are studying from 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. And uh, the 17 verse says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, no, all no things, things are become new. Amen. Amen. So that's what the word is saying. That's what 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 is saying. It says, therefore, if any, and I'm glad he said any, I'm glad he didn't put a color or a race or something to that. He said any man, any man in the world. Uh, therefore, if any man be in Christ, all right? And he used that in Christ. He just didn't say um, around Christ, but he said in Christ. Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid, uh, brothers and sisters, a lot of the times that we are floating around Christ, we are hanging out with Christians, but we don't have Christ in us, and All right. we're not in Christ. All right. Um, there's a thing that we we do get some benefits. Believe me, you can get some benefits. God said, I reign on the chest as well as the unjust. So you can get benefits, but don't mean that you're in Christ. Because if you're in Christ, you develop a relationship mm -hmm. with God. Yes. And that relationship that you uh, develop with God, it happens over time. You get to know him. You, you, uh, you try him. You go through the ups and downs, the storms. Uh, you go through and you develop a relationship with him. And relationship, every true believer have a relationship with Christ. Yes. You got to know who he is. Mm -hmm. and, and then not only that, when you have a relationship in Christ, it's in your heart, it's certain things that you're not going to do. All right. Amen. All right. And if you do them, you'll know better because the Holy Spirit is working on the inside. Amen. And, and that's what I like about when he said in Christ. All right. And so a lot of us, we need to check to make sure we in Christ. And not just out of, of Christ. <laughs> you could be around something and not be into something. Amen. All right. All right. Because when when you get into something, I remember when I was, uh, went to apply f uh, for a job at St. Mary's Hospital, 
And I walked around St. Mary's, but I wasn't in St. Mary's, but I walked around. I said, ooh, I would love to work at St. Mary's. Mm -hmm. What it took for me to work at St. Mary's, I had to go and apply to work in St. Mary's. So I filled out an application, and I went in there, and I talked to the supervisor, and, and the next day he called me and said, hey, you hired. And so I went outside St. Mary's. I was inside St. Mary's Inn. Mm -hmm. They told me everything I had to do, who I was under, and who was over me, and the rules and regulation of the hospital. I was in the mix. All right. I wasn't outside anymore. I was working in St. Mary's. And this is the same way with Christ. We got to be in Christ. And when Christ employs us, all right, we are under him, mm -hmm. all right? And he tells us all the rules and regulations what we have to do. And so when we in Christ, we don't mind taking orders from Christ. All right. A lot of times when we uh, want to get in something, when we see that there's somebody going to be over us, we, we shy away from them. But I guarantee you when you are in Christ Jesus, you don't mind it. Because you know that he is the one who kept you from danger and harm mm -hmm. and all those and construction things that could happen to us. And so all you had to do is really think your mind back and know where you was before you met Christ. All right. And, and, and I can run my mind back uh, and how Christ had did so much for me and so much to me. Um, when I think about his goodness and I think about his mercy, all that time when I didn't have Christ in my life, and I was doing some things that I know Christ wasn't happy with. Mm -hmm. But I thank God for his mercy and his grace Amen. that he covered me all that time that, that I was living without God, that I was around me, but I went in Christ, mm -hmm. and he took care of me. And I can think of hundreds of times that I did what I wanted to do, said what I wanted to say, all those times, he kept me. And I praise God for him keeping me long enough to accept him as my personal Savior. All right. And so now I say, therefore, if any man be in Christ, mm -hmm. he's talking about me because I'm in Christ. All right. And I have his Holy Spirit living inside of me. My father used to sing a song, wrapped up, tied up, tangled up. Mm -hmm. And when you get in Christ, you wrapped up. Mm -hmm. You're tired of it, you're tangled up, and nobody can untangle you from Christ because they don't know which way to start because you are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Man, and now I understand what he was talking about. And then he said, The world can't do me no harm. All right. Amen. And so I understand what he is talking about. Not only that, what the word says, he said, He is a new creature. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean that he's a new creature? That means that he is born again. Mm -hmm. and, and when you get born again, the old things are passed away. You are a brand new creature. I don't care what you did before that. Mm -hmm. I don't care how you was born. I don't care who your daddy was. I don't care who your mama was. God said when you accept him as your personal savior, you are a new, new creature. creature. Amen. And Christ. And so, by being a new creature, we started off fresh. Mm -hmm. We started off brand spanking new. So, anything that we get, we get it from Christ, and he feeds us into our spirit. And we're no longer the old person that we used to be. All right. And I know a lot of times people say, you know, I was born this way, I was born that way. But you need to be born again. All right. And that's what Christ said. You need to be born again. So whatever you picked up when you was born, wherever people put on you, wherever people called you, you are a new creature, creature in Christ. All right. And then now it says, it says, old things are passed away. And what do he mean by old things? Old habits. All right. Old things that we used to do mm -hmm. are passed away. And what he is saying, you know, remember we used to have anger? Remember we used to be a peace breaker? <laughs> Remember we used to have war? Remember we used to do evil things? Those things are passed away. All right. Because it's like old things are passed away. And that passed away, that is past tense. Mm -hmm. That is back in my past. Yes. 
I, 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 I remember what I did, but mm -hmm. I don't remember the pain that I associate with those things. And God don't really want us to forget where he brought us from. All now, right. He told the children of Israel, he said, don't forget. Mm -hmm. I want you to remember how I brought you out of Egypt. I want you to remember how I brought you over the Red Sea. I want you to remember how I brought you through that desert land. I want you to remember that I kept you cool in the day and, and warm at night. I want you to remember that I gave you food from heaven. I want you to remember that I had quails walk into the camp and all you had to do is grab them and eat them. I want you to remember that you got water for rock. God don't want us to forget those things that he brought us from and brought us through. Because we need something to praise God about. All right. And I can just praise God just about my past. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the present or the future, but I can just praise him for what he has brought me through. All right. And I know we all have a testimony. We all have something that we can say and we can praise God through on Sunday morning. That's yes. why I can't wait when this is all over <laughs> and we come back <laughs> to service. We're going to have a shouting hallelujah time. All right. I mean, it's yeah. going to be a service off the chain. I'm mm. telling you, I, I just can't wait. I can feel it right now that all people right. are going to come with a new heart and a new mind. They're going to start appreciating what God has done and doing for them. All right. I know we have took a lot of things for granted, mm -hmm. but now this time that we have to stay at home, it's time we have to isolate ourselves. Uh, it's a time to think about God. Mm -hmm. It's a time to reflect yes. on the things that we've been doing and the things we haven't been doing. So it's, it's, it's a time to sit back and think about God. Because we can't think about anything else because we know God controls everything. Mm -hmm. It's a time to start thinking about the things that I forgot to thank God for. Or I didn't. I wasn't appreciated of these things. It's a time to think. Mm -hmm. And I thank God that I had a time to think. I thank God for this moment in time. I know a lot of people passed. I know a lot of people, loved ones are gone. But God is doing his thing. Mm -hmm. uh, this is his day. He allowed this to happen. And mm -hmm. he is in total control of the situation. All right. And so I just thank God that he saw fit that I'm still here. Amen. And I'm going to be still here telling people about God's word. Amen. But then he said, behold, all things are become new. Yes. Amen. So everything, when, 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 when I accept Christ as my personal Savior, and I give him my life, and the Holy Spirit comes in within me, and I'm in him and he's in me. All right? And, and, and then things has become new because I'm a new creature in Christ. All right? All right? Mm -hmm. Old things has faded away, so all I have is nothing. I'm brand spanking new. Mm -hmm. And so I should be ready for God to pour into me mm -hmm. wherever he wants to pour into me. And that's the way he wants us. He wants us to be an empty vessel when he get done with us mm -hmm. so he can fill us up. With his word, his law, and his rules and regulation. Mm -hmm. So that's why he said, I become new. I don't know anything else. I become new. And, and scripture, Ephesians 4 and 22 says, that ye, that ye, but of certain, the, form, the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupted according to the sinful lusts, Mm -hmm. And to be rewarded in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, yes. All right. which after God is created in righteousness yes. and true wholeness. So our old conversations, you know how we used to joke around and, and, and tell dirty jokes? That got to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People, that got to go. You can hold on to the old conversations, talking about women, talking about this, talking about that. That had to go. Mm -hmm. And I know sometimes we think we can hold on to something on the past, but God said, no, let all that go, because that's not a way a Christian should adopt their selves. All right. So we cannot hold on to all those crazy things that we used to do. Another scripture is Philippians 3 and 7. It says, but what things was gained to me, those I have counted loss for Christ. Ye doubtly, and I count all things but lost for the excellence 
of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and to and do count them but done, that I may win Christ, mm. and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. All right. So I have I have lost all the things that I thought that was valuable to me. <laughs> they become like dumb. Mm -hmm. Because I want to get what Christ has for me. Amen. That's the Amen. most important thing All right. in my life. That I get everything that Christ has for me. And mm -hmm. I do all the things that I that I need to do for him. Amen. All right. And also, Revelation. Revelations 21 says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Mm -hmm. For the first heaven... And the first earth was passed away. Mm -hmm. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, mm -hmm. preparing as a bride a door for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of the heaven say, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with me, and he will dwell with them, All and right. they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all the tears from mm. their eyes, mm. and there shall be no more death, no more sorrow, no more crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Mm -hmm. And he that sits upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. All right. And I just praise God for that scripture out of Revelation. That when we know that when the end comes, we know what we're going to look for. Mm -hmm. We're going to look for Christ. Yes. Amen. And we won't have to look for it because he's going to be caught up in the air. But what I like about it, he said, I've wiped all the tears from your eyes. There'll be no more death. There'll be no more sorrow. There'll be no more pain. And, and brothers and sisters, I want to be there. And I'm making preparation right now down on this earth. Because I am a new creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. And all things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for this lesson. I thank God for this passage of scripture. And I want you to think about it. I want you to read it. And I want you to sit back and meditate on that word. And when you meditate, God is going to give you something that's going to encourage your heart. Mm -hmm. And I hope your heart has been encouraged um, by this uh, passage of scripture. And I just want you to read it and read it. And get it down into your heart and your mind and your soul. So let's have a word of prayer. I be Father, Lord, we thank you for this word. We thank you, Lord, for you being you. Thank you. Being you all by yourself. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you're my God yes, and you're my Lord. We thank you, Lord. Lord, that you gave us this portion of scripture. And Lord, let us be able to read it. And Lord, bless us with the understanding of your word. Lord, that we may apply it to our many different lives, Lord. And Lord, that we'll know that we are a new creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. Lord, no matter what people say, no matter how they look at us, no matter what they do to us, we are still a new creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we want to act like, Lord, that we are a new creature All right. in Christ, Lord. We want to behave like we're a new creature, new creature in Christ. We want to look like we're a new Amen. creature in Amen. Christ, Lord. Amen. Bless us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, that we might hold our peace when people are talking and doing all manner of things. Lord, that we yes, remember Lord. who we are. Yes. And whose we are. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we just give you the praise. We ask you to bless everybody who's listening, everybody who's looking. Bless them with a special blessing right now. Lord. Right now, Lord. We ask that right now in right Jesus' now. name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.